everyone, Marcos Villegas here with Jesse Vargas, who of course takes on Timothy Bradley this Saturday here at the StubHub Center, a venue, Jesse, that's provided a lot of entertainment for fans and really a lot of memorable fights. I know you're hoping that your fight turns into one of those. That's right. I've already had one experience here in 2013 where, where I fought another undefeated fighter with 85% uh, of his fights being by knockout. I came out victorious. The fight really enjoyed what they saw. And it was possibly going to be fight of the night, everyone thought. But then the Ruslan Peronica fight came next, and it was also a great fight. And and, and uh, I'm glad to be back. You know, it's, it's a venue that has brought back great memories for everyone, I believe. And for me as well and I think that Saturday night would be no different you know it's gonna bring it's, it's gonna bring an extra pack fight and uh, a fight that we've worked very hard for to come out victorious. Is it tricky to prepare for Tim Bradley because when you look at his fights he's not really consistent in terms of styles he'll brawl sometimes he'll box sometimes and he kind of flip-flops back and forth. Yeah uh, he flip-flops back and forth but with the same you it's the same style. It's just sometimes he's over aggressive. He's a little. He's, he's not as aggressive, or he's just moving around, trying to box, trying to trying to just use the ropes to use the ring. But it's the same style overall. Do you expect him to do brawling more, or expect him to move in this fight? We're gonna brawl. You know, he's gonna come, and I'm gonna show him that the younger, tough, the younger fighter has the more energy and is a stronger fighter. No, I know. The younger your fighter will always prevail. You're, you're taller. You have a, a longer reach than him as well, so I'm thinking that you're going to try to use that in the fight. Well, to be honest, man, I, I, I really want to prove a point and show him that that I, a Mexican fighter is a Mexican fighter, and, and uh, right away you'll be able to notice the difference, and you're going to see that from the get-go. Looking at your training, Kemp, I know there's been a lot of talk with the changes and all, but for you, when was the moment when you said, you know what, things aren't working, I, I need to change because Roy's not here? Do you remember that moment? And take me back to it. It's not that things weren't working. It's just that by the trainer, it was too many. It was too much absence, you know. And, and with a fight of this magnitude, the biggest fight of my career, I needed someone to guide me day in, day out, and make sure that I was in charge of camp. And I spoke to Roy about it, and uh, he acknowledged the fact that he wasn't able to. He gave me the okay to bring another trainer in, and that's when I brought in uh, Eric. You know, just just a couple of days later after that, it all happened so quickly, but quickly, but fast. Uh, Eric was able to come in. And he, he's been doing a great job, you know, never left my camp ever since he got here, and I'm very thankful for that. Are things still good, though, between you and Roy? Is he kind of come back for later camps, or it's still not very sure about that? Roy, Roy's my boy no matter what. Of course we're okay, and uh, we're doing well. But this Saturday night we have a tough task in front of us and uh, we, that we prepared very well for, and we're excited to, to uh, show the fans a great fight and, and give Vegas another world champion. Looking at Morales, he has a lot of experience. Having him in your corner certainly is a, a boost for you. Is Morales going to be hanging around after this fight? Are you going to incorporate him full-time into your camp? Definitely. Yeah. Now looking at uh, this fight as well, you, you answered so briefly. <laughs> Why? It's just he's had that big of an impact on you? He's, he's had a big impact, and you're going to see the, you're going to see the impact that he had come Saturday night. What's like, going to be a difference. What's the main difference between training with Roy and training with Morales? Uh, they're both great trainers. Uh, they're both legendary fighters, and uh, Eric just retired. Roy's still going. You know, he, he was in a fight Fourth of July. He just got moved down to August, so everyone tune in. August, Roy Jones is coming back, and he's looking for that next world title. Uh, you know, they, they they both have plenty of experience in the ring, um, but in the ring as fighters, so they know the feeling of being in there, and they know how to how to give a great strategy. They know. They know how to describe a fight, describe a fighter, and uh, they're very intelligent personalities that know how to express themselves well. So there's not really like a, a huge difference, like a training camp with Roy or like a training camp with Eric. It's pretty much the same in your eyes. I mean, of course it's different because it's two different fighters, two different styles. But what I did notice is that there is a lot of similarity in there as well. Mm -hmm. Looking at training camp, you mentioned uh, last week that you talked to a lot of his sparring mates that you feel that he's nervous for this fight, that you've heard from them that he, he's a bit nervous. Do you have like a mole in camp or, or talk to me about that? No, no, I, I didn't say that his boxing, uh, his sparring partner said he was nervous. That's, that's incorrect. But uh, I have friends, thankfully I have a lot of friends, you know, and, and they did enlighten me in, in some information of what was going on. And, and I mean, it really makes no difference what I heard or not heard, you know, because at the end of the day, the game plan is still go. And uh, the fights still go just as the way as I envision it, as I see it, as I plan it to go. 
Um, but, hey, I mean, a few inside tips won't hurt as well. <laughs> Jesse, uh, on a final note, looking at uh, this fight and looking what you want to achieve in your career, tell me how you really envision stopping or, or beating Tim Bradley on Saturday night. With a nice setup, very nice punch, and a punch that he wasn't able to see because of the speed, you know, and because of the setup behind it with the patience behind it as well. Looking for a knockout then? Uh, I'm definitely looking for a clean punch to, to settle the respect in the ring and get the respect from Tim. And then afterwards, we look for the next setup, you know. Uh, but uh, I feel stronger than ever, so don't doubt that. Jesse, thank you. Really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, give him the fist bump there. I know yeah. it's fight week, so you want to be careful yeah, with, you yeah. know, germs and all that. Talk to me a little bit. Is that like a thing? No, you know what? Just sometimes people just tighten up your hands too much yeah. or whatever the reason might be. And I just... Uh, uh, my trainer, also, he's always on me, like, hey, don't shake anyone's hands, all right? Not, 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 not fight week, you know? I'm like, hey, there's no problem. You know, and, and I'm, I'm, like I said, we're just here having fun. I feel you, I feel you. Well, we'll do the fist bump now. There we go. Okay. Jesse Vargas okay. fights this Saturday on HBO against Timothy Bradley in a fight that should be a good one. Don't miss fans.